Today I am traveling on Thailand's Jungle Express, officially called the Northern Line. Come along on this 10 hour journey that will take us all the way from the hustle and bustle of Bangkok to the city of Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand. I'll show you the good, bad and ugly of train travel in Thailand. Spoiler alert, those fans became very necessary. Alright guys, the time is 8.45 a.m. and the train is going to depart at 9.05. So I got about 20 minutes to find it. This is gate 10 and there was a sign saying that you need to enter via gate 5 for the Northern Line. Bang Sui train station is brand new. It opened in 2021 and since January 2023 all long distance trains depart from here. The Northern Line leaves Bangkok every morning at 9.05 a.m. There are also several night trains from Bangkok to Chiang Mai, but I decided to go for the day option because I wanted to pass through the stunning tropical landscapes in daylight. The check-in process was quick and in less than 10 minutes I was on the train. We departed bang on time and left the concrete jungle of Bangkok on our way north. There are many stops along the way, including Bangkok's Don Muang Airport and Ayutthaya. Alright guys, we have been on the move for about one hour now and yeah, let me talk you through this train experience. So the seats are quite comfortable, but they are definitely not what you would call spacious. And I don't know if you are noticing this, but this train shakes quite a lot and also it is quite loud. But anyways, I don't know how old this train is, but it doesn't look very new, but also it's not super old, maybe around 20 years or something. And I have to say the crew is absolutely lovely and one thing that I didn't know is that this train ticket includes food. The very nice lady just served some coffee and chocolate cakes. So yeah, now I'm hoping to see some beautiful landscapes. We are still on the outskirts of Bangkok and we're gonna pass Ayutthaya. <laughs> So as you can see here, I put on my sweater and this is very important if you're taking this train. This train is an absolute fridge. It is so cold in here. I think the air conditioning is up to 15 degrees Celsius maybe. It is really cold. So yeah, if you are taking a train in Thailand, bring some layers. Oh boy, that situation was about to change drastically. But first, lunchtime. There was only one available option and it was rice with egg and chicken. The chicken came in a bag that you had to pour over the meal yourself. To be honest, I had never seen this before. It was a bit flavorless, but this being a free meal included in a train ticket, you cannot really complain. After lunch, I went on a little tour of this Thai train. Unlike the sleeper train, this daily express does not have first and second class. As such, all carriages have the same 2 plus 2 configuration. The legroom isn't too bad and the seats are decent and they recline. There is ample overhead storage and the seats have tables and plugs. There is also a little kitchenette for the staff and every carriage has a loo. Ours was kept clean enough. About an hour after lunch I suddenly felt a bit hot in my sweater. The fridge was slowly turning into a sauna. Situation update guys, we are more than halfway between Bangkok and Chiang Mai and we have been on the move for over five hours now. So yeah, Thailand is quite a big country and we are crossing a significant chunk of Thailand. And yeah, I kind of underestimated the size of this country and the length of this journey. And the air conditioning is definitely not working. Also, this train is shaking like hell. I mean, this camera does have stabilization, but I'm pretty sure that some of the footage will be extremely shaky. But yeah, no air conditioning. They are using fans that are attached to the ceiling. And in the beginning of the journey, I was wondering why there are so many fans since this train has air conditioning. Well, as it turns out, the air conditioning isn't always working. The heat became worse over time and the fans weren't doing much. For the record, I don't know if the AC was actually broken or if they just turned it off for whatever reason. 
On a positive note, the further north we traveled, the more spectacular the landscapes became. This was turning into a proper jungle express. We are now going through some stunning jungle scenery and yeah we are definitely now in northern Thailand and I think we have about three hours left to get to Chiang Mai and the last stretch of the journey is much slower. So far we have made really good progress but now we have about 100 kilometers left and it will take about three hours. So I think that those 100 kilometers are jungle rails. But yeah, I am enjoying it. We got some more complimentary coffee and some cookies as well. So yeah, onwards. One and a half hours to go and yeah this is slowly but steadily becoming a sweat box and that is mostly because the train is moving much more slowly now and there just isn't that much air circulating around the cabin so good things about this train journey number one the seats are very comfortable and now i got two seats to myself which is obviously a plus the crew is absolutely lovely and they are bringing us coffee and food even though i just realized that i can't just ask for more coffee she won't give me any more so basically i wanted a refill of my coffee but you know and, and i was um, ready to pay for that but apparently that's not possible she can only give me one coffee per rounds that she's doing so yeah no refills but anyways the crew is absolutely lovely another good thing it is very cheap i will reveal the price of the ticket later but it is much cheaper than flying and probably similar to taking a bus and last but not least the landscapes are absolutely mesmerizing bad things about this train well it is too hot very slow and there is no wi-fi <laughs> Before long, the sun started to set and we were approaching the northern city of Chiang Mai. So, how much did this train ticket cost? Well, I paid 638 Thai baht, which is about 16 euros according to today's exchange rate. Buses will be similarly priced, but the experience won't be the same. I booked directly on the Thai National Railway website and the process was quick and efficient. You can also find very cheap flights on this route, but those will not include luggage or food and you'll be hard pressed to get one for less than 40 euros. So, would I recommend taking the train? The short answer is yes. The previously mentioned dysfunctional AC and the shakiness lower the train's comfort levels. Nevertheless, it is still a very scenic and pleasant way of traveling across Thailand. And if you are not in a rush, it is definitely an option worth considering. With nothing more to say, I would like to thank you all for watching and see you again next week. Goodbye.